Okay, welcome back. So, as I said in this tutorial, um, we are going to look at how to measure uh, using Adobe Illustrator from this point to this point. For example, we want to have like a 5cm shoulder seam here. We're going to do a point 5cm away from this shoulder point. Also, how to measure along lines and how to um, isolate curves and also measure those and mark points as well. So it's like the very fundamentals of pattern cutting or using Adobe Illustrator for pattern cutting. So if you can see over here on the left hand side we have our key and we have something called a point. So we're going to be using this uh, to start doing our measurements. So first of all get your big selection tool, click on this point and then go uh, edit and then copy. Now also as you can see here I'm going to start using shortcuts soon. So these are shortcuts. This is simply the control C on my keyboard and control V on my keyboard. This is command because I'm in Mac but it's control on a Windows PC. It's the same as in Word or you know any other sort of like, it's, these are pretty much universal copy and paste. So I'm going to copy it, and then I'm just going to hit Control V to paste it onto my document. Okay, and let's just zoom in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is let's say that I want uh, a new neckline. Okay, I want to place a neckline that looks roughly something like this, and I'm going to show you how we did this much much later. I need to know. I want to make sure that the distance from here to here is five centimeters, and this pattern is full size. Okay, so let's just go to my big section tool. I'm going to click on this point, the center. Click on the center of that and drag it to that shoulder tip point and make sure it is in the center. Next, to move something, I'm going to get my big selection tool, click on the elements I want to move and then hit this, the enter key on my keyboard and this will bring up the move dialog box. I'm going to spend a little bit of time explaining what these both do. So here, let's say we want to move five centimeters horizontally. Okay, to move five cm horizontally to the right, let's just click preview as well so we can see where that's going. So if I click five cm to the right, let's make sure the vertical is zero. Okay, so we're just moving 5cm horizontally to the right, and that shows you that's 5cm. If you want to go to the left, we use minus. You see, so minus goes to the left, and plus 5 goes to the right. It's the same on the vertical axis. So if I go vertical 5cm, let's just move this over here, and then let's just preview it. Oh, let's take off the horizontal. So if I'm going to go vertical 5cm, it's plus 5 to go down, and minus 5 to go up. Okay, so plus 5 to go down, minus 5 to go up. But what we want to do is essentially measure the distance from here to here or place a point 5cm away from this one. To do that, I'm going to go to the horizontal. Wait, let's get rid of the vertical. I'm going to go to the horizontal and type in 5, let's do 5.5. Okay, and then vertical, we're going to click 0. If for some reason I put in 2 here, it'll do both a horizontal move and a vertical move. And the problem with that is, is that the distance between these two points is not 5.5. It'll be longer because it is essentially the diagonal, okay? So you always, when you're doing measurements, just place it in either the horizontal or the vertical, okay? So we know that that is 5 centimeters. And let's just hit, instead of clicking OK, OK will simply shift that point. We want that point to remain, so let's just click Copy, and it will copy that new point. So, how do we know that this is 5 centimeters? Well, there's two different ways we can do this. If we go over to our line tool on the left hand side here, just click that point or click that, that tool. If I click on this point and drag, you see this little grey box and it shows you. I mean, you could even, if you wanted to, you could even, oh, very close, you could do that, okay? And that could show you a 5cm, but let's not. It's, it's a little bit more uh, time consuming. Let's just simply click and drag from this point to the center of this point. And as you can see, in that little gray box, it says 5.5 centimeters, which is perfect. So we know that's 5.5 cm. So our rules are working well, our measurements are working well, the block is the correct size, excellent. There's another way that we can measure the distance between those two points. So once again, click and drag, there's my line. And then if I go to document info, which is this little icon on the right here, click. And then in the burger menu, click objects. And you'll see it says path one, blah, 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 5.5 cm, okay? So that's very handy when it comes to measuring lines. But we'll come to that in a minute. So first of all, we have our point, and it's 5 cm away from its existing point. But how do we translate that onto the shoulder line, okay? Because at the moment, that doesn't mean anything. So what we do is we get our big section tool, we click on that item, we then go to the rotate tool, and we click on its original location. And that is our rotation point. You see this little blue icon there, or a little blue rotation point. And then with the center, I'm going to click and drag, and you see it will be 5 cm around that point in every direction. So I'm just going to simply click and rotate that up to the shoulder line. And now we know that that is 5.5 cm away, and we can just check if you want to. 
just by getting the line tool, clicking and dragging 5.5 and it's also in the document info 5.5 so that's perfect so essentially we've all we've done is got our ruler and measured from this point to this point but we've done it using Adobe Illustrator and points and measuring so next what we want to do is we want to translate this drop here so let's say we want to drop that's maybe 2cm from that front neck point easy so let's just do it let's get our point I'm gonna get a big section tool click on that point control C to copy it and control V to paste it onto our artboard again it's going to drag the center to the neck point, hit the enter key, and instead of going horizontal, I want to go down. So I'm going to go 0 and then 2. And we can also preview that. And I'll show you where it goes. Maybe we want that actually. Let's do 1.5. You can eyeball it or you can measure it on your model or on your, your, um, your mannequin. Completely up to you. So let's just go 1.5 and click copy. Okay, so now we have defined the measurements for our new neckline curve. It's 5cm away from the shoulder point and it's also 2cm away from the front neck point which is great. And now what we could do is basically go to our pen tool and then click and then draw in a new neckline. So that's it. But I'm not going to show you how to create those those lines just yet. It's all about measuring this tutorial. And we can do the same on the back as well. Okay, We can take this point. In fact we can take both these points. Go to the big section tool, click on this point, hold down your shift key to queue up if I were to just simply click and then click without holding down the shift key, you see we wouldn't, if you hold down the shift key, it queues up the selection, it adds to your selection. So big section tool, click and then click, and you can go edit, copy, paste, move this here because we already know it's five centimeters, go to the rotation tool, click and then rotate, okay? And we can also once again do the same for the back. Also, another thing to mention, if for example, your point is here and let's say we move it but we don't quite get it right that's not quite on our shoulder point if we use the big section tool and click on this point we can use the arrow keys on our keyboard and that's just me going left um, pressing left and right a few times so you can basically align these using those arrow keys as nudging if you hold down the shift key it does bigger nudges that's without the shift key that's with the shift key with shift key without shift key same for up and down Okay, so that's really helpful as well when it comes to making sure your points match. So with this one, we're going to go, let's go down 3cm. So I'm going to, big section tool, select that point once again, hit the enter key, zero horizontal, and we're going to go down by, let's say, 3.5. Hit copy. And there we go. So that's now our back neckline. And we could probably just draw, there we go, we could draw a new neckline there. But once again, don't worry about that. I'm going to show you that a little bit later how we do that. So this is how we basically uh, yeah, measure using Adobe Illustrator on our pattern. But how about finding the length of lines? Okay, what if maybe I want to know what the, the length of this armhole is and maybe the back as well. Really simple. So what we do is let's just get rid of these points. We don't actually need them anymore. We'll come to that later. Let's just clean up our block. Ah, sorry, to get rid of items, just simply get the small section tool, click on the element, and hit backspace on your keyboard. Do it multiple times, not just once. If you do it once, what will happen is you'll just delete a point. Okay, so just make sure you delete a few times. So let's isolate, or let's, let's measure first of all. So once again, get your line tool, and to measure something, you can just simply click from one point and drag, and you see that is 12.5. Great, and we've got a line there. You see, it's just created a line. So if you do measure something, just remember to remove it afterwards. So 12.5, just delete. And what's this one? This is 6.32. Delete that. So it's clicking and dragging, 6.17, delete. So that's how you measure straight lines, which is fantastic. And once again, you can also just click and drag and then, okay, well, that's going to be uh, 6cm. There we go, we'll mark it there. And then we could always just draw a point or we can maybe change the color of that line to be red so it's a bit brighter you can see it and that's our point this is a little bit harder technique I wouldn't recommend using it use your point system anyway let's close that so how do you measure a line okay Adobe Illustrator makes it very simple get your small section tool select the element that you want to measure and as you can see at the moment the whole thing has been selected you see how that whole thing is blue Hang on, let me just change the color of this so you can see it, because blue is not great. Oh, hang on, there it is. Whoa, what? No, no, no. Ah, there we go. 
Let's go for a nice bright magenta. Is that easy to see? Yes, ah, oh, that's so much better. Okay, so as you can see, if I get the small section tool and I, let's just get rid of that, I select the element that I want to measure here, this curve, just get small section tool, select it, and then we're going to go to our cut tool, which is here, or scissor tool. Select that, and then just cut that point. And you're not cutting below it or above it, you're cutting on the point exactly, because that's where you're measuring from, and on the point here exactly. And as you can see, um, we've now isolated this line, or this whole block, from this line here. If we didn't isolate it, let's just click on the document info over here. As you can see, uh, we need objects, sorry, it's on objects. So it says 168.6 centimeters. What it's doing is it's picking up the entire every single line on there. So we're going from this point all the way around the block up to this point here, and that is 168 centimeters in total. So why so essentially we're isolating this line so that when we select it we can see how long it is. Okay? So we have to make sure we isolate something. So we have this this let's say the, the rest of the block here, we want to measure the neckline. At the moment it's 122.3 because it's the whole outline minus the the armhole. So what we do is small selection tool, click on the element, go to the cut tool and then just snip and then snip. And there you go. Let's just select it. 10.7 centimeters. So this is how we measure curves. And you can also do the same with lines. You see how we've now cut this little item out here? 12.4. So you can do it in a few different ways. But the problem is when we do that, we're basically separating our block. This is a nice contained block. This is separate. So once you've measured the distance, you want to basically join your block back up again. Otherwise, it's just a whole bunch of different lines. So to do that, we get the small selection tool over here. We then click and drag. We right click and then we join. Click and drag, right click, join. Click and drag, right click, join. Click and drag, let's just average those two points, don't worry about that, and then join. So our block is now one item again. Okay, perfect. So we've measured straight lines, we've added points along a line, but how do you how do you measure along a curved line and add your point? It's a little bit more complicated. So let's say we want to go 5 cm from this point to this point here. Okay, great. What we're going to do is we're going to get our point. It's a big selection tool. Click on the point. Control C to copy. Let's move it back over here. Control V to paste. And let's just drag that until we meet that underarm point. And I'm going to say, right, I want this to be 5 cm along this line. Okay, so how do we do that? What we do is we get our small selection tool. We select the line. We go to our cut tool. We snip here, and then what we do is, I'm just going to guess it, I reckon it's about, this is probably about 5 centimeters. Let's just have a look. If I cut, as you can see it says 4.58, so that's 5.6 centimeters, which isn't great. So, I essentially want to maybe move it slightly further up and cut again. Problem is that if I cut again, we're just going to get that little line there, 0.22. So what I need to do is basically have that line as one complete item again. And to do that, you can go edit undo scissors. So let me just do that. Let's cut here. That is 4.9. Okay, very close to 5. That's not bad. But I want to leave my little pointer here to mark that spot. And then I'm going to hit Control Z or Command Z on my keyboard. And what that does is that that basically undoes your past um, action. Okay? So now I'm still at that point, which is 4.9. Let's just move it slightly further up and cut. There we have 4.986, so we're getting very close. And I can zoom in to get even more control. I'm going to then rest it back on that point. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo my last action, that last cut. Move it slightly further up. Cut. 5.04, so I'm slightly over. It depends how accurate you want to be. 5.04 is not the end of the world. It's pretty much 5. Then let's just move it down a tiny bit. 5.034, undo. 5.02, undo. 5.061, I mean, that's pretty much spot on. I'm really happy with that, okay? Because we're working with, what, four decimal places. So that's how, essentially, we, um, yeah, we find 5cm along that curve line. And simply the point is here just so we can mark it. So let's just go copy that, paste it in, find my, get the small section tool, click on that line to find the point, and then I'm just going to click and drag that in, and it should lock. You see how it locks to that point? It just locks to that point. And that's how you know that that 
is five centimeters and you've marked your point as well so this is handy when it comes to maybe you want to separate this block out let's just join that up uh, I'm just doing some things now which you don't necessarily have to worry about, we're going to come to this a little bit later on, but maybe we wanted to mark that 5cm because we wanted to rotate we wanted to close that bottom dart like that and open it up so that's why we marked that point Okay, so really interesting, or really really helpful. Okay, so this is how you basically measure in Adobe Illustrator. And once you get the hang of it, you will become very quick at it, and it will become a much faster process. At the moment, it all feels very, very long-winded, but you will speed up the more you use it. Okay, so what's next on our list? Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, okay, no, that's it. <laughs> that's it for this tutorial. Okay, uh, that's pretty good. We covered that pretty quickly. Um, yeah, so if you have any comments or questions about this technique, then obviously leave them in the comment section below and we'll try and answer all your questions. Better to leave comments rather than um, <coughs> email directly because it means that everyone can share that knowledge online. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, in the next tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to, um, basically using the pen tool and to start drawing in these necklines, okay, which is really quite fun.